<laughs> um, so this is what we're going to do now. So everybody um, should, or almost all of you, have access to the Google Classroom now. And if not, that's okay, because we just need one person in, in each group to be able to um, work with a document that's on it. So um, if you go to the classwork, you'll see the group introduction slideshow. Um, and so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you sort of how, if you're not used to using Google Slides, sort of how to add some information to a slide. Um, so uh, in the Google Slides, you'll see, um, this is a slide that I put here for the instructors that are here this morning, this one for the translators, and then there's one for each group, groups one through nine. And the Google Slides, the slides are written on the end. Uh, in the Mateagi, there go Google Slides now, and the Gelagi, Google Slide now, and the Tizu, uh, sorry, a slide Tizu to the chair. The slides are going to think it was on the day, there the uh, where it is a slide slavery. I come see several colleges here. What in all the Nasegi, any Ruha Susutang, any Teju Chigan down, or Tizen Susun question, what is uh, Chiaki. So one thing to know when we're all working with some slides or eventually we will work with data sets, if all um, 60 of us use it at once, it might get very slow. And so that's another benefit of working in a group is that um, you as a group may decide what to do in terms of adding to this presentation or to um, work with a data set. Um, but then only one person will be interacting with it for your group. Uh, Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click here right, where it says members and I'm going to add my name. Members, okay. And Robin. And I'm also going to add David. Um, and David, if you're on, do you want to unmute yourself and just introduce yourself? Okay. Hey. Um, hey, everybody. My name is David Goldberg. Um, I am a student at Emory University right now, um, involved in a good chunk of research. And also, I help um, lead a little bit of some of the sessions that the uh, Tenzin Gyatso Science Scholars um, uh uh, learn biology in, and I help uh, sort of tutor them and make sure that they understand their subject. So I'm very familiar with working with uh, many of the monastics, and I'm very happy and thankful to be here uh, help, being able to help you guys. 
เอ่อรุกหากิมิงดีลบเต็มบัตรรุกหากิมิงเบดอลลบเต็มบัตรรุกหากิเนี่ยเนาะเลเซนจูของเซนจูเวนอลเลนตันเจวิดโกลเบิ
Ani group momo group momo ruka ins. Tiada sih nampak lagi. Ani anda kita tunggu saya dalam anggi saya dekade anggi saya di tujuh tahun je. Kalau lagi ming lagi ni kencing ming lagi ni tidak sih tahu res. Okay, so <laughs> um, now that we're all hungry, I'm going to show you one more thing. If you're not used to Google Slides, and we're gonna, I'm going to click on Insert. It's up at the top, and I'm going to find a photo of a Momo. And the and the number two, 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 number um, let's see what we get. You can type like dumpling. Or, yeah, oh, yeah, look, it worked. Know. Okay. There we go. <laughs> It's also a type of clothing. So um, this will be our picture. I'm going to click on that. And so now we have uh, David Momo and Robin Momo and Nicole Momo and Ken Momo and James Momo. <laughs> So um, what you want to do is to um, find your group number. So let's say group six has already started adding their names. Um, in the next five minutes. Um, and then pick a name and find an image. And once that's done, we'll go through all the groups and have you um, have one person stand up and introduce the group.
Okay, it looks like we're pretty close to having everybody ready. For those groups, um, a few groups might be having problems with adding a picture, which is not important right now, but you might want to reach out to somebody in another group over the next two minutes and just see if you can figure out how to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the snow lions. Yes, please. Gerardo, you have something? Yeah, so what we want is one person in the group to stand up and briefly introduce everybody um, in your group, maybe what monasteries you're from, um, and then why you picked the group name that you picked. Uh -huh. So we're going to start with the We'll start from the snow line group, right? Then get the Kangsing Ruhan and go to Ains, not on us. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Hello. yeah our group uh, name is Snow Line and uh, we represent Seraji Monastery. And uh, so, like, me, uh, Tenzin Changchuk, and Kandin Yatso, Shamba Takchui, Tenzin Chopin, Lobsang Samde, and Tubden Pinsong. And uh, why we chose uh, Snow Lion is because uh, this is our uh, national unique animal, yeah, which is found in Tibet. We live in Tibet, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Group two, the ocean group. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, <coughs> so we are our group. A group name is Ocean. Uh, the group name uh, shows uh, we are just, uh, I mean, uh, so uh, our group, uh, actually, uh, it's a mixed. We have uh, Hmong from Tashilumbu and Serache and Serame. So we are actually mixed. So the different fish shows uh, we are a mixed group. And the, our group, we are uh, just one, one of the nine, nine groups. So 
we have named it ocean and all the mixed fish. That is perfect. Uh, group three. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. Our group uh, name is Laughing Buddha, and we are uh, presenting from Sereme. And the uh, reason why we are uh, choosing the Laughing Buddha because we are going to study with uh, enjoy and love. And uh, we are all uh, cool guys. So, <laughs> anybody have a problem? Just uh, uh, feel free to ask us, then we are gonna try to slow. That's it, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, group four. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. And good morning, all the professor. And good, good afternoon, all the uh, students here. So our group name is uh, Yak, Yak group. So we have in, in our group, the Keshe Lodri Sambula from Changzi Monastery, and uh, Lobsan Dundrup, and Tapal Hagyap, Lobsan Chimba, and Lobsan Gyatso, and from Shazi Monastery, and uh, Toji Sambula, graduate science teacher. And my name is Lobosan Bemo here. I'm from Chenju Chuni Nanuri. So why we choose the yak is uh, our lesson is uh, about emotion. So we all are came from the high attitude. And so we feel very close to yak. That is wonderful. Group five. Uh, good morning to all the teacher and uh, and good evening to all the participants. And so we are the group five, and uh, our group member are Tenzin Chebil, uh, Temba Chebil, and Sewan Gyatso, Kesan Champa, uh, Chebil Wanchu, and Chokden Lama Mi, and uh, Kesan Chuegel. And our the sign is uh, we just uh, choose the names uh, of the pickup uh, because. Uh, the peacocks, uh, our research uh, method is the not harming to the people. So whenever we just uh, researching the sleep and emotions like that, uh, we are just try to uh, research without uh, not harming to the people. Like the peacock uh, did not harm to the another uh, another uh, like animals, and also the the result of our uh, uh, research is the uh, is the look able uh, to the eyes of the other. Like as the people like love to the look the peacock as like as the our research the results of our research was like the people look our research like that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Group six. <laughs> Hello, especially to all the professors and uh, all the students. Here uh, we are the group six called Panda Group. And uh, there are two graduate teachers, again, uh, Dinze Basang and again, Tundu Wangmo, and uh, six students, Kitu Ishi, Is Kitu Ishi, and Funzo Rabdin, and Kersang Gindin, and Ramdul and Chedin. Yeah, and uh, we uh, call our group Panda because you all know Panda is a very uh, precious and very adorable and loving and as a symbol of peace. That's why. Thank you. Great. Um, group seven. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, our group includes uh, students from Loslink, and our group uh, includes Tsiring uh, Pinzok, Boyan Doji, and Tenzi Targi, Jamyeon Pinzok, Gunjo Pegi, Tenzi Ngawang, and myself. And our group named uh, our group is named as Junmi because we want to eliminate the darkness related to research. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, group eight. Changwala Deshtele, Nganzu Group Gebayi, Nganzu Chokba Gimengla, Targa Chokosi. 
अने ना जो चौमी दे अने गेन लग बाचे अने गेन गांव जुबा गेन तंबा गया जो अने गांचे अने तीन से गेले अन तीन से गया जो अन गेन से जो मां ना जो ये अने ना जो तारगत सोबा लाने तारगत खर्चिल लाना अने तारगल ऐ दिच्छे ना लाभ चुंगर रा तंगा जो अने तं यम्शु चिंगी इंसा लाभ ठोंबु गोए के चिंबुरा इन्हें इंसा अने तारगल के लाभ ला पिंगे इंसा लाभ ठोंबु सुग्रेस अने नी देला अने तारगल के पापा द ठाकु योरा ते अंजु सोपा दिया ने सेम्चिंग माचा जो मुतु ने ठाक था जीस ओ ओ सेम्चिंग माचा and uh, they have these members reflected here in with their names, uh, including one, uh, the last one is a uh, teacher at Gomang Wanasri that I recognize. All the others might have been from uh, Gomang. Uh, and uh, they have chosen walnut for their name. It's because one, uh, the inside of the walnut represents, uh, represents or looks like our brain. And uh, it's to remind us that we'll need to be active at our brain level brain all the associated uh, areas of brain need to be activated so that we could carry out the research work well and thus we need to be very active uh, and plus it has this ad additional uh, feature of a heart uh, shell and that is to say that uh, no matter what comes we will not lose heart we'll try to stay uh, hard and stable uh, like the uh, cover of it, uh, but at the same time, uh, remain active all throughout. That is a wonderful reason, and I think a lot of American football teams should change their name to the Walnuts. Did you say I was sure this American or the autumn polo taking Ruha Mambu or a crown to give me in Tanda Ming Shimba in the tire or a country Ming beer and Tarka Ming Pacholo and Yahoo of Paris. Okay, group nine. Hello, I'm Tash Dele to Nicole and Robin and, and Geshe Dandula. And uh, yeah, uh, our group nine represents, uh, represents and monastics, from, monastics from Gomang and Rate and Sakya Monastery. So uh, we represent three different monasteries. So we have uh, uh, Stenzen Wangden, uh, Lobsan Tamjes, Lobsan Tashi, Lobsan Temba, Lobsan Wangdi, and Lobsan Gurung. And, uh, and we have kept our group name as Go Green because, uh, uh, yeah, because it has always been very important for us to think about our only one planet. So, and also, uh, so, uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, and then because, uh, and because of the reason, like you know, uh, since we are not, we, since we are not looking after our own planet, so uh, there are many like uh, uh, effects, like uh, many effects like this uh, climate change, and then the uh, and then the pandemics is happening. So you know, we all look forward to work together, work together, and hopefully we can uh, we can bring a change in our only one planet we live. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it is so lovely to meet all of you. And we will do our best to come up with ways that we can sort of, that you can talk to each other in the room, but um, that we can also, you can also talk to us. Uh, um, and with that, um, I'm going to turn it over to Robin and we're going to think a little bit more about the process of inquiry. Inquiry. And this is setting up the, the conversation between Buddhism and science, Nicole? Yes. 
Yeah, okay. So um, I, I echo Nicole's comments that it's just wonderful to meet all of you and uh, what, a, what a wonderful group that we have. And again, Nicole, I just want to say, number two, congratulations to the JTNAM, to the Zoom, and the JTNAM, and the JTNAM, and the JTNAM, and the JTNAM, so as we mentioned earlier, uh, the topic of emotion and mind will be a very important component of our research training workshop this winter. And I want to kind of reiterate the point that Buddhism and science are both methods of investigation and investigation of the nature of reality. And science is really an empirical mode of inquiry. That gives us very detailed knowledge of the world and the underlying laws of nature. And science proceeds by a very specific method uh, of measurement and then verification through repeated experiments. Robin, sorry, what was the other one? Measurement and? And uh, through repeated experiments. Oh, verification, yeah, yeah. Buddhism, as you very well know, has a very similar investigative spirit. And it involves a commitment to a continual investigation of reality through a similar but different empirical methods and means. Members Although there are similarities in the empirical means and methods of science and Buddhism, there are also some important differences. Science often takes a third person perspective and typically uses instruments and quantitative methods to investigate reality. 
Buddhism, by contrast, understands the importance of first person observation and first person investigation. That is, the investigator is examining their own experience of reality through attention of inner and outer states and analytic methods. Um, two additional points. <laughs> so His Holiness the Dalai Lama says that we're really at a point in history where these two traditions can and should start working together. And that these methods are complementary. I personally believe that science has as much, if not more, to learn from Buddhist investigation as it has to, to offer. Um, 
And one thing science has uh, can really learn is the importance of using its knowledge for the purpose of compassion and embedding the world that is such an important part of Tibetan Buddhism. So now we want to do an exercise that explores the similarities and differences with how science and Buddhism explores a particular topic. And Nicole is going to introduce this exercise, which it asks, uh, what is the nature of emotion? Um, so we are going to use this exercise also to introduce you to a place um, within uh, Google where your group will be storing documents that you create. So if I go to our classroom and click on classwork, you'll see a link to class Google Drive. Classwork said the name in and then now say class drive folder, Google Drive, or then again, I'm just thinking this, then you and if I open that, you'll see a folder that says group folders. Group folders, group folders. And if I open that, <coughs> you'll see a folder for each group. Um, and going forward, one um, important part of science is that you protect data very carefully. Oh, uh, Nicole, one minute. Uh, uh, I think everybody's uh, this this folder is in the shared with me, not where you can see. Oh, but for the yeah. students, it's in the shared with me. And this shared with me, lady, now you're the. Oh, Awesome. 
Jinan Rai Mare. Jinan Rai Mare. Kena tribe na. Apa na juga tu? Tribe na juga ni Jinan Rai Mare. Tribe tu lu juga tu. The Kabana Yavina and you drive dot Google dot com na papa by na drive na papa by na Kabana in by na this way, Chaza Kabana in a drive na yore. Ani tanda di nana dona tanda di laptop rai imba ina ani kerana cik ina nana dona digor, tapi cakap cakap cik ugu amal. Kerana grup nana mirer lagi cik tu nana digor, tanda komputer yang kau jual. Nikola, I'm just letting them know that like you know one who have a laptop, he should access it. Like not everybody has to do it, right? Yes, absolutely. Kerana mobile nana yang kau tu macam cina digor, tanda ngaco cik. Laptop juga cik orang kena surat dia lah nyam do cewa ina, an jalan aja di cewa cora. Mobile tu tu jalan tak cora. Alright, I'm gonna go forward, but you'll have some more time to sort of find this if you haven't found it, um, if somebody in your group hasn't found it. I think So um, what I was saying is from now, when you're in this folder, you should only be working with your group and not Work on anybody else's group. Then they would check a chicken carriage on then they ruga, kudua, ruga, ruga, susu, 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 angitidua. The susu ruga can now look ignorant and legacy or motor, Michibe ruga, ignorant and the part to part to you, you can chair your marriage. And right now, all of your groups just have one thing in your folder. And then that number two, you know more when I know Kangana Lola, Ruga, you know, Lola. So if we click on this, it's a presentation. The questions for you. Oh oh. Oh okay. No good. So each group has the same presentation, and what we'd like you to do is to take a little bit of time to uh, answer at least one or two of the questions. And we don't have a lot of time left. So what we'll do is in the next 10 minutes, have your group pick at least um, two questions to think about. You can write your answers in these slides or not. And then um, in about 10 minutes, we'll come back as a big group to discuss this. And Thank you. 
I'm overhearing some of their discussions to the ground. <laughs> Ini 
Okay. So, what we can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. So, what we'd like to do now is just kind of open it up for conversation and have a have a discussion about this. I'd like to go through each of the questions individually um, and just ask for you know maybe one or two groups to to speak up on each particular topic and um, and we'll see how many of the topics that we can go through. So uh, I'm just gonna share the slides so you're aware of the questions. So we'll start with, uh, with the first question. So does a group wanna um, speak up and give us what your thoughts on, uh, on how we would define emotion? Then it's time to do a good wish. Robin, do you want to go? Hello. Uh, yeah, can... they can just the first group can go. Oh yeah, Ruka, yeah perfect. Uh, we are from first group, and our definition of emotion is that it's a manifest mind with strong feeling. It's kind of gross level of mind, and it can be positive mind and neg uh, positive emotion and negative emotions. Those are uh, negative emotions. They come out of ignorance and wrong conceptuality. And those some of the positive emotions are kind of compassion, kindness, and love, and right motivations. Thank you. Wonderful. And the Ruka Tamudigi, Tiwa Tamudigi Landela, Chiji Semyungi, Kudun Chitan de Nabdu, Semyung Sidu, and Sem Munju, which it is, Sem Rakwati race, Tila Nansegi, and it is Sem Rakwata, Sem Munju, which it is, and it is Swashu Tabu Yuagi, uh, Mozi or is, you know, Tila Nanse. Does group two maybe want to give their definition of emotion? We'll kind of go a little bit of around 
Robin, and then maybe group three will give answer the next question. Uh, <clears throat> we have uh, written this definition. Uh, emotion is a state of mind which has a cap capable of feeling happy, suffering, and neutral. That's it. Okay. And the Semyon said the career is not Semyon, the tour is still a Simdung Pamis, Simdung Parmasum Gitor, your is. Okay, could group three um, answer the following question? What are some questions you might ask about the nature of emotion? Okay. Okay, has only attempted the third question. Oh, they only did the third question? Yeah, they may have begun from the Okay, third. then I, well, I think we'll do it less formally. Any group can step up and, and give their answer to what are some questions you might ask about the nature of emotion. That's true that groups might not have gotten through all the all the questions. So does any group want to step up and uh, answer this question? Right, <laughs> So this is group group six, and they have attempted this question. And uh, from the Tibetan translation of emotion in into semyong, it seems to point more towards feeling. But they wonder whether what you call emotion might include such perception as seeing a flower, say seeing a flower, would that vision of flower, uh, perception of flower be included as emotion or not? It's a wonderful question. I think in, in my field, the perception of a flower and the reaction to the flower emotionally would be considered two different things. But that may be different in Buddhism. Okay, I think just one more thought on that, Gashya Dadu, um, that my field would also distinguish between an emotion, a feeling, and a mood. And we don't have time to go into that now, but I might ask people to think over the next few days, what's the difference between an emotion, a feeling, and a mood? If those even translate. <laughs> okay. Then, uh, Tanta Gang is where this in a Kalinju Gala, Mendo Rujina, Mendo T, Tongi, Tila, Mendo La Tembe, Tonto Gigris, Tikaris, and Mendo La Tembe, Tonto T, Chesu, and Tilly Tembe, Yalin Stigris, No Wetoni, Kawa the Jovata, Durbata, Mindivata, the Tizu Tapiji, Emotion Sagna, Ligris. That Tism do Masse, uh, Tism do Masse. Now, what is the city? Now, Lola, 
emotion, feeling, mood. This is the same thing. Emotion, feeling, mood, this is the same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Lebih orang datang daripada, tapi nampak tu ini dalam tajuk yang di tentang unit kari ini tajuk nang daripada. Ia emotion, feeling, mood, semuanya cek, semua cek, semua kam, 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 kam tebu tu, kam tebu mintu, teringko kam yang aku tu, kam yang aku mintu saja daripada. Oh, di sumbu dia macam ni. Ia kalau di sifat saja tu, kadang tujuh jam hari ni nampak tu kompas aja ni sampai nang orang nas. Does uh, any group want to step up and answer this question? What methods might a Buddhist scholar use to study emotion? Hello. Uh, Hello. For that question, to answer for that question, uh, all group actually discuss something like, uh, for the Buddhist, uh, maybe you know, a Buddhist scholar uh, could actually first uh, try to cultivate some kind of you know compassion, which is some sort of emotion, and then try to see uh, physical uh, changes, uh, the transformation. And also, uh, also encourage other people to cultivate uh, compassion, loving kindness, and all this positive uh, uh, mental uh, attitude, and uh, see, try to see the uh, uh, development whether happens or not in the uh, uh, individual who is, you know, practicing these uh, mental qualities. So that is the that is more like more some kind of you know. Uh, during the observation and also from the uh, uh, first from the third person and also try to ex try to see the experience and what changes happens you know within oneself and uh, that will be more like uh, you know first person's uh, way of uh, uh, looking at it oh, किसी सेमियों ने ताजी शेव चुना ताजी शेव तब जो घर तेंगे रहे सेन शेवी ना सेमियों की तेजों की निंजी रोज की वी ना निंजी की सेमियों रंग रंग से निंजी तब जो पहले शेवी ना यानी तेरा देखो कि ने ताजी शेव कब ला तब जो तेंदा दे ये तब दे रंगी की निंजी के रंगी की निंजी के तब चिग रहे निंजी जूल के त ลูกวิ่งนั่งลอยเนี่ยชิลลอยเนี่ยดีนั่งลอยจิ๋วเราคาริดูกุตุสเซนยำชินนั่งเกรสที่นั่นวันที่ยืนเนี่ยที่ต
group want to give us their response to how scientists might study emotion? That you will study is you will study that thank you. You will tell it because we know it was that same young than the yogi in Shinju target of Chebuzuna. Terrible jiggy that is a touch it carry carry fancy grace. Said the Ruga street and I'm not on us. Oh, that's Harry Pocket, the key, and you go to Sue and a city, Karsa. And you had the Nampa in a Kansa Tambula, Taji Chita, and Terry Pina Kansa Sumbala. Here, any Poranki Tambo, any Cheke, Nicola Mazuti, E.G. Karea Serota, and it's in a MRI down, and it teaches Kanis Retine, and in Yindanti, and it's a Shanis or Koran Chick, and it's a Chick, Nyoso in Nekapla, and a Yaling candidate of Tegito, and a Koran Chick, Delayan. Correct. <laughs> Uh, more emphasis on the third person observation, first third person finding, in the sense that uh, uh, you would let someone undergo some kind of emotion and then let, uh, let the uh, independent uh, instruments such as EEG, MRI, kind of uh, uh, show up what readings they show, as opposed to what readings they show to the same person when they are in a resting place, resting time, uh, when those emotions are not uh, generated, etc., and then compare uh, the notes and then come up with some kind of a, a conclusion on, on that. Wonderful explanation. <laughs> the one thing I might add to that is, uh, and we'll get into this, is that if a person, a, the scientist's theory of emotion may guide the experiment that they conduct. So the scientists may have an existing model that they're testing, and then they're designing experiments to test that model. And uh, does the group want to take uh, or, or answer this last question on the similarities and differences between Buddhist and scientific investigations of emotion and mind? Mm. Semyonda <laughs> Ani da nangbe mane ani kansa tangbo ani kansa tangbe nga tang ani rangi nyonga che ani di thone tahtap chigire is plus. So their group has this to say on this. Uh, like uh, uh, our instructors had already shared before, uh, scientists would approach this uh, like with anything else um, through the third person approach. They they will be relying more on instruments. Uh, and also uh, mathematical uh, devices such as statistics, etc. 
and also be collecting data and based on them they will work up on their understanding of what the particular emotion is or is not etc whereas uh, in the case of the uh, buddhist uh, they would primarily rely on what the, what an uh, first person first what what the first person description looks like and what their description of uh, what they go through emotionally uh, is and based on that, uh, they would come up with some kind of a uh, concluding uh, right. remark on it. So one last point um, before before we give the uh, the assignment for tomorrow. That and that signing you said that that legend you create is that maybe you call it. How many can I just say yes? I think that last response was a wonderful overview of the distinctions or differences between Buddhism. Uh, and science in their investigation of emotion. And they just tell me, and they just tell me, they call them. They say, "Nangi ki ruha ki kusab ki sunya di." Ani chik semnyon da di kala nangchui ta ani seni ko paru ki khabar kari je me ki nifiti chindom yaposhi chikyo sos. One thing I'd, I'd invite us to think about over the next, you know, over the next day or so. Is what are the similarities between Buddhism and science? What are the what are the points of connection, um, and and how are they like each other? Ah, uh, then that as you must see near in that the reason you must see near in that we must do some things here. Ah, is this going to be the assignment? Or? No, no, just 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 for okay. fun, just okay. a thought experiment. Okay, yeah. Yani, under legend, because in some way the legend that under the remedy, in a way, some of the knowledge and knowledge, and it's like some things here, some doctors here, some things like that. Because some of the things that the now just the thing you put over, too much of it, too much of it. Because we say that we do it, some of the things that too much of it do it, but rules and and do it. Some of the knowledge, some of the things that the journals, points of connections and and how. So the point of connection, and because the two sets, two sets, two are connected. Yeah, because the double double are connected. Do the, and the legend we are legend with them are the, the le, two je, and the some le na no la, ah, the Jesus go che, some le tau no na. Great. So Robin and I will not be with you tomorrow morning. So we wanted to explain what you will be doing. Ah, sanyi gizide na no la. Gela nama ni Ken Robin dah ada Ken Nicole lah. Kena ni yang mari kita cuba itu le. Ini yang nama tu kalau cek gua dia mahu cuci ni. So, um, oftentimes when we think about science, we think about an experiment, which is shown on the right. Seri kal nama tu Indo atau Seri se labdi kal lah. Tapi kita ni jawab itu sih. Sama dengan orang sih kau urus. So, for example, we might have um, a group of participants um, uh, meditate about compassion and another group not meditate about compassion and then report sort of how um, anxious they felt over the next month. So in that example, we have a classic experiment with a control group and then the treatment group, one that meditates and one that does not. Nampuji ni dia ruka kau sih jadi kalau ruka ada la ming dia ada la cik la control group cik cik la experiment group sih guys cik di sih jenazah di sih jenazah di ani tak pernah cakap ni dia kom jaya rujuk ni sih jenazah di kom aja macam cik tak aje ruka ada ki kom jaya boleh jam ni ani tinggi perlu ki ani kebab kat tu tanya ruak. We can also do a descriptive study where we um go throughout um. Uh, Sarah May or Dre Pong and and ask a lot of people about how anxious they feel, how long they sleep each night, whether they get to take a nap each day. 
ตะเนตาเจกิกินนัมเบอร์มินาเบจินเนเดสคริปทีฟเซเนเดชิกิเดเจเซเนเดวะเจปตังตอนตะกันเดเลสเนเปนะนี่นี่ยากุสคูเบ
so um you'll you'll have a group of two there'll be two people from your group mm -hmm. um pasong and the other leaders will give you um pieces of paper with these questions to write mm -hmm. down the people's answers uh, is there any number of people that they interview? Um, they'll want to interview two, two other people. Okay. So they will be doing it not online but on paper. On paper. Oh, and then when you're done, come back as a group to discuss the answers and make sure to save those papers. Mm. Um, and with that, we wish you all a very good night, and we hope that you sleep well since we are studying sleep. Oh, thank you, Robin and uh, Nicole, so much, and Gishla. Uh, this was a great session. Thank you all so much. And uh, Nicole and Robin, I just want to let you know that Tenzibasana had created